When President Trump was asked about the plight of those workers, he shifted focus and said he felt badly for the families of people who'd been killed by undocumented immigrants. But for the latest on these stalled talks, now let's bring in our senior congressional correspondent, Mary Bruce, on Capitol Hill. Mary, you've been working your sources all week long. What are you hearing? Is there any way lawma lawmakers might still reach a deal? Well, Cecilia, lawmakers on both sides of the aisle this morning tell me they see no path forward here. Look, any hope for a compromise deal here fell apart yesterday after the White House threw cold water on the idea of doing a broader deal. The mood here now on the Hill is positively exasperated. Lawmakers are frustrated and dejected and now bracing for the president to declare possibly that national emergency. Even his top allies like Senator Lindsey Graham, who was trying to negotiate this compromise, is now essentially throwing his hands up and telling the president to just do it. But Cecilia, even he has reservations. Look, the idea of a national emergency is not popular among Republicans. They're not crazy about this idea. Some have even expressed outright opposition to it because they know that this move is almost certain to be challenged by Democrats and the courts. Yeah, a lot of frustration to go around. We mentioned those workers earlier. They're not getting paid today, but the pain doesn't just end with them. Yeah, the impacts of this stretch far beyond those workers who are just missing their paychecks today. Take a look at some of these things we're keeping a close eye on. One area of concern is food safety. Routine inspections have now been suspended by the FDA, while at the housing department, more than 1,000 contracts for subsidized housing have expired. That means many landlords simply aren't getting paid, but the department does say that there have been no evictions just yet. Well, at the airport, Cecilia, with some agents calling out, some of the security personnel calling out because they aren't getting paid, Miami International is reportedly planning to cut off access to one of its terminals this weekend. So a lot of broader consequences here, Cecilia. Yeah, Mary, okay, thank you. People starting to see this all around the country. Yeah, and if and when this is solved, the federal workers may get back pay, but there's no guarantee mm -hmm. of yeah. that at all. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.